U.S. men's soccer team closed out their World Cup tune-up schedule with a 3-1 victory over Australia in Rudaport, South Africa. You know, the spirit of the match, uh, the competitiveness of the match, uh, I think for, for both Australia and ourselves was uh, exactly what we needed. The U.S. got the early start. Four minutes in, forward Edson Buttle scored after stealing the ball off an Aussie defender. That set the pace for the game. Buttle and strike partner Robbie Findlay put on a harrowing display of speed, making space in the Socceroos' defense. They just tell me whenever I get their opportunity, if I'm 1v1, go at players, just be aggressive and, and, and get them back on their heels. Fifteen minutes later, Australia's star midfielder Tim Cahill equalized, heading in a corner kick past Tim Howard. At 32 minutes, Buttle struck again, heading a goal past Aussie keeper Mark Schwarzer. For the most part, they were in good spots when we needed them. When we were in trouble and needed to play balls forward, they were in good spots. Defensively, they did a good job making it hard on the Australian center backs. Um, their movement was very good, so it didn't mean that they always got the ball, but when they when they move and they're active, it opens up space for the rest of us. Yeah, they you know they were a handful. They, they put in a good shift up there, made things difficult, and uh, you know they, they did well for them. The last goal came from substitute forward Hercules Gomez, who finagled his way past Socceroo defenders and thumped it in the back of the net. A solid performance and refreshment for American fans, who may have thought Josie Altador was Team USA's only weapon as forward. Altador was out with a minor ankle injury. U.S. coach Bob Bradley now looks ahead to the first World Cup clash against England June 12th. Yeah, I mean, now we have a regular uh, week leading into a game, which involves regeneration, uh, and now the work that you, you put in normally with the, the, the concentration on your, your next opponents. John Mon, the Associated Press, Rudaport, South Africa.